Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. I uh, spent the last few weeks trying to figure out a backup camera for my Dodge truck. It's a 0659 diesel. I love that truck. Uh, it has a cool stereo in it. I didn't want to modify that, but I went to an audio, car audio place first. Their idea on a backup camera was a license plate frame camera, um, but it worked out to be 1200 bucks when it was all said and done, and I had to modify my dash, which I didn't want to do. So I like that idea, except for modifying the dash and the $1,200 price tag. So I went through a bunch of different ideas. I thought I could come up with a really good solution. Um, but I spent a few weeks going through these possible solutions, and I did come up with a great solution at the end. And hopefully this video would help anybody out who might be Let's see, I started that. with this idea of a mirror just hooked on to the trailer or onto my shell. I'll show you a little bit of video trying to figure that and out. I got a la last bus frame camera off of Amazon for like a hundred bucks. This went to a Bluetooth Wi-Fi system and to your phone. This did not work at all. This was actually uh, ridiculous. It was worse than actually having your kid or wife back you up to the trailer, which usually isn't that good in the first place. So this, I'll show you why this thing just kind of flopped. And then finally, I ended up getting a last bus frame with a built-in monitor and this thing actually worked. So I kind of walk you through all that. Uh, I certainly got plenty of time in on this project so I'm hoping this video might save somebody a little bit of time. Uh, I kind of wish I had seen this video before I started buying all this junk and going down all these different roads that led nowhere. So. Hey Jonathan here at Topsaw. Um, backing up to trailers, boat trailers, dump trailers, equipment trailers. Uh, it's always those last couple inches to get it just right. Um, I know all new trucks have a backup camera on them. I was thinking of getting one. I went out onto Amazon. I heard the Bluetooth ones don't work so well. So then I went to an audio store. Once you get the camera, the install, you need a new stereo and monitor is a thousand bucks. Tempted, but I, you know, the problem with the new stereo is Minority works. I mean, I like the one I have. So I thought I'd give this a try right here. This is a security mirror. There we are filming. Um, and then here's my truck with the camper shell on it. Clip that on right there. Then bring it down right to the hitch. Curious to see if this works. I guess the way to line it up is put my eyes on the hitch and see if I could see the rear view mirror from the hitch. Try that. All right, let's see. I'll move the camera over to the trailer now. All right, so there's the boat hit. Um, getting it lined up isn't too bad. I don't know if that mirror is going to be big enough. We'll give it this is my first try. So let me turn my truck around and see how it goes. And you can just video and see how much screwing around I'm doing. Uh, I'll put a link to this mirror. If it does go well, I'll put a link to this mirror in the description below. Let me turn the truck around. right there on the back of my camper shell it's pretty small I'll work on a better mounting system see I have to keep my my door my swing up door there held with the right bungee cord here's another idea uh, just mount that mirror on like an extended antenna this thing has like a magnetic base these, I, I had two of these that had balls on top for backing the trailer up, but I never liked them. But I was thinking with this instead, um, the nice thing about this is that you could just leave it on the trailer. Um, you don't even really have to hook anything up to your truck or do anything. Just whenever you're backing up to the trailer, you back right up to the hitch. It's kind of cool. You pull this thing off, you leave it at home until the next time you hook up. 
Um, this thing kind of telescopes in. I kind of like it. It's actually a little bit easier than the camper shell one. So, there's another thought. You want to try and jerry rig something up like that. A reverse mirror facing to the back of the truck. Alright, so it faces to the back of the truck. Look through the rear view mirror, look over your shoulder, catch that mirror, and in that mirror go to the hitch. Alright, well I wasn't even going to post this video about the mirrors. Um, I might edit it back down. So all those mirrors ended up just being too complicated. I didn't want to go to a car audio store and get the whole thousand dollar new stereo and retrofit my dash and pull my existing stereo out. So I went on Amazon and I bought this frame camera that's Wi-Fi to my phone. This is my last bus I bought on Amazon. I think it was like a hundred bucks. And you can see there's a Wi-Fi antenna and then you have two power wires here, black and red. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try right here. So this, you just install, you cut it into the wires on, the, on your tail lights, and then there's an app so you can see on your phone. So it looks super clean on my truck. That one little wire going over there, you can barely see it. And I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Here I am under the truck. There are those two wires right there. I just have it tied into my reverse light, uh, which seems probably the best way to go. If you put it into a power line, like on your hitch plug, um, that's what I originally was gonna do. But then um, you're gonna eventually drain the battery if you left your car for a long time. So there it is all hooked up super clean. And then I'll just see if we can get the app to work. Truck in reverse. Um, and I have been playing with this Wi-Fi app forever and could just not get it to work. I did get the camera on there one time, but th this idea that you got to open the app and then the Wi-Fi, um, if I'm trying to back up to something, I think I'm going to give it a skip. I, I don't like this. I'm going to sit in my truck in reverse, get the Wi-Fi hooked up, get the camera app hooked up, and then as soon as I pull forward to relocate, everything disconnected and I have to reconnect all over again. So this last bus, steel frame, license plate, backup camera to the wire app, I would give it negative reviews. It just didn't work. Hooking it up to the reverse wire didn't work. As soon as you go forward even an inch, you lose all your connections. And then you're sitting there trying to hook your thing up. I mean, now you got three headaches. You got to hook up your Wi Fi, you got to hook up your app, and you got to hook up your trailer. So that was a big step backwards. So I contacted Last Bus, and they were actually great in getting back to me. I said, I just want to keep their camera and license plate frame. I actually really like the camera. However, I want to buy a monitor, a Bluetooth monitor that receives it. They said they do not sell that. Just buy the whole thing on Amazon and return the original one. So part of the reason why I'm making this video is it's turned into a giant headache and it seems like if, if you watch this video first it might save somebody a lot of time. So I just got the license plate backup camera kit with the monitor, install that and then see how that goes. So exact same frame, they do come apart right here so if you don't want to have to redo your electrical you could just pull this out here and change out the license plate frame and then Wi-Fi to the monitor. So new frames in, there's a hex key right there. So you could change the angle so you could pick up your hitch ball. Right, so truck's on, I'm in reverse. I have a cigarette, so I have a cigarette lighter right there, but I don't want that wire hanging out in that monitor all over the place. Never mind, I charge off of that cigarette lighter a lot as do my kids. But I do have one in the center console here. So there it is, it's just plugged in. There's a power switch on it, so that turns it on. I'm in reverse, and, am I in reverse? I am, nothing. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if we get hook up and how quick this goes. It might work, I'm actually pretty optimistic. It's taken, I guess, third, third tries of charm, or whatever the expression is. Let's go back to Dodge Up, see what happens. Alright, so I just have it sitting on top, still plugged in. I'll see, 
put in reverse them and park. Here's, oh! Pop Chow! That worked! Look at that! I can see my hitch fine. It's a little weird. Because of the light and go into the shadow. Whoa, I'm getting car sick. Which way am I supposed to go here? See what, I just bumped it though. I think I'm right in front of it. I think the hitch is too low. Let's go see. Look at that, that's perfect. If I had the hitch up higher, I would have hooked right up. All right, let's give this whole thing a review. Mirrors, good idea, did not work. License plate, Bluetooth camera, to phone, did not work. License plate camera, Bluetooth, to designated monitor, I love. So, mirror's kind of a funny one. I guess if you left that mirror wherever it might work, but that's probably more work than the Bluetooth to monitor. Well, I like that a lot. That's beautiful. All right, well, if you liked that video, hit like and subscribe. Uh, if I had seen this video before I started down this path of hooking up the trailer headache free, probably would have saved me days, money, a lot, money and time. So hopefully some of you will get something out of it. Let me raise the hitch up a little bit. Try that one more time and see how we do. But you kind of get the general idea on all this, I think. So hit subscribe and like and comment below if you would. But I'll, I'll try it one more time here. All right, I'm just going to... No, it's hard to hear over the diesel. I'm just going to pull forward, get out of alignment, way out of alignment. And then... I'll just go into reverse. I won't even look back at all. We'll just see how we go. Oh man, that thing came up right away. There's a hit. So you see that's what I'm looking at here. All right, so now I can see what's going on. I'm off by like an inch. Auto reverse. Come back. I do. It's cool how it just pops right up like that. Well, there it is. Beautiful. I think I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. I like that a lot. Pretty easy to install. Headache free. Pops on right when it's in reverse. Monitor, Bluetooth, frame's the way to go, steel frame. Hopefully it'll hold up. I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful.